Good morning everyone and welcome to KBC's um, vlog series. So we're talking about uh, characters of the Bible, men and women of the book. Um, so today we've got, uh, I've been blessed with a very big character in the Bible and I'm going to be talking about uh, Peter. So Peter's a very famous part of the uh, New Testament and uh, we know him have from uh, many names. Um, He's called Simon Peter, uh, Simon, uh, Cephas, Peter, um, which can be conf confusing uh, to start with. Um, he was famous for um, three main things in the Bible. So, um, well, let me say in the Bible, but in the New Testament. So our author just suggests that, you know, it was for messing up, for walking in water and being a giant of the early church. Um, he was a very fiery character and um, he was very spontaneous and he would act um, you know on instinct almost um, so who was he and um, when did he start following Jesus so he was a fisherman um, and you know we, we remember that story that you know Jesus says to, uh, to him and his brother um, you know follow me and I'll make you fishers of men and um, so he's a very, you know, prominent character in the Bible. And we know he was married because Jesus heals his mother-in-law in Matthew. Um, like I said earlier, he was the only disciple to walk on water like Jesus did. Um, but maybe we might remember him more of um, he was the one who denied Jesus uh, three times. But Jesus forgave him um, in John 21. 15, 19, we, we read about that. So, uh, like the book, um, the book spoke to me about, you know, you need to think about how did Peter feel um, during that time when he'd um, denied Jesus between the cry of the third rooster, um, making his third denial of the arrest of Jesus, um, and what happened between then and when Jesus um forgave him and uh, spoke to him and the resu resurrected Jesus and how we would feel maybe with uh, going through that. So he was a spontaneous character. He drew the sword against the high priest's servant, cutting his ear off. Uh, Jesus had to tell him to put the weapons away. Um, he said he was prepared to die for Jesus. You know, he was a fiery character, passionate character. Um, and, you know, he... He was always happy or willing to say, you know, this isn't right, Jesus. I'm, you washing my feet isn't right. And um, so, but what, you know, what? When did it go all wrong? Because we we hear that he's such a passionate character, and he wanted to do right, and he wanted to be a follower of Christ, and he wanted to die, he, willing to die for Christ. So when he was pushed into a corner, and um, you know, he was accused of being a follower of Jesus, he was like, that wasn't me. Um, and that's kind of when the, this nightmare started. Um, so you know, he's just seen his friend, his his leader, being executed, um, and imagine the grief he's feeling. And then he's he's denying Jesus. He's confused about what's happening, and um, just thinking of those days between the denial and what personal hell he would have gone through during that time. Um, he would have been you know, beating himself up, you know, as we all probably have when we've not taken the opportunity to say that we are followers of Christ, um, when someone have said something against Jesus or blasphemed or, you know, or even just taken a mick and we've not stepped up and stepped out in our faith. Um, just imagine what this felt like for Peter to, you know, he was going through absolute hell when he's trying to work out, you know, his, his leader, who he believed was was the saviour, um, was going to turn things around. So, you know, he doesn't know what to do and he goes back to his old ways. So he doesn't know what else to do, so he goes back fishing. So he's out on the boat and, um, you know, then he sees Jesus on the shore and he runs his famous trait you know without hesitation he runs out into the water and wades to the beach and i was you know it was an epic conversation with jesus and you know lots of people try to pick out what this what's happening but
But in essence, uh, Jesus asks him three times um, if Peter loves him. And I think the simplest way of looking at it, like it says in the book, so Jesus is asking him three times, do you love me? And three times he says he does. And three times of saying yes trumps the three times of saying no. Jesus sees right into Peter's heart and Peter's restored, you know, Peter's forgiven by Jesus, by Christ, and and he forgives himself. Now he's confronted his dark inside, you know, and he fights, he's come back now showing um, he's a different person, you know, he's, he's come out bold that he's, um, and you know, he preaches in Acts about um, a, a sermon and thousands get saved. Uh, he walks up to a disabled man and proclaims him healed and he was healed instantly in front of the Sanhedrin um, without fear, no denying Jesus now. In Acts 4, 13, he says, it says it all. Um, when they saw the courage of Peter and John and realised that they were unschooled, ordinary men, they had astonished and they took note that these men had been with Jesus. Peter become so powerful in God's people, that God's people, that even now they throw himself under his shadow to be healed, Acts 5, 15. Now this is a very different man and um, he said he was, you know, prepared to die for Jesus and, you know, ultimately he did, he was martyred. Um, Jesus said, greater love has no one than this, to lay down his life, one for his friend, historical um, Sources say that Peter was crucified, nailed on a cross. The cross was upside down because Peter said that he wasn't worthy to be crucified the same way as his master. Um, so things to learn from this story or this character is, you know, how massive a failure it can seem that Peter was. Um, and he was yes, Lord, and wanted to follow Jesus. Yet when it came to the crunch, he didn't. And um, But what we should take from that is that in the end, he did. And Jesus forgave him. And uh, that forgiveness is probably what gave him the courage and the boldness. And he was filled with the spirit um, that allowed him to preach and do the things he did in the name of Christ. So... We can all take that away with us in that we might have denied Christ or we might have sinned that we think that we can't possibly be forgiven. But just this story alone, and the Bible's full of these stories that, you know, the God of second chances, as um, as many say, you know, it's the God of multiple chances. And uh, thank God for his grace and mercy towards us. So yeah, today, if you've if you beat yourself up about what you've done you know we need to repent and and turn back and and christ forgives us and we can carry on and do wonderful things in his name have a good day everyone amen